Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I am gonna start the vlog today, but before we get started on any of that, I just kinda wanted to touch base with kinda what's going on in the world. Now, this is not a political channel. This is not a political statement. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to let you know as my subscribers and friends, my stance. Take it for what it's worth. I am in the camp of Black Lives Matter. I don't believe that anybody deserves to be um, injured, killed, maimed, de degraded, talked down upon because of the color of their skin, their economic background, their social background. Like, I'm just not about prejudice. I am about treating people fairly and equally. And right now, the African-American people of color, black, brown, they need our help and they need our support and love and understanding. And that is where I'm at. You know, as a 50 year old, I feel, or almost 50, I'm not 50 yet. As a 50 year old, I feel like, you know, I was raised and grew up in a different time, a different place, but we're never too old to learn and we're never too old to care about everybody. So on this channel, I love everybody including our LGBTQA plus friends. That's right, I'm an ally. So I just wanted to throw that out there that that's kind of where I stand. Um, and again, this is not a political channel. I won't be talking politics or anything like that. No, I don't think all cops are bad. I don't think all black people are criminals. I don't think all white people are racist. That's where we're at now. I'm starting the vlog today. It's Wednesday. I'm almost done with work. We're at the end of my work day. Clicky, clicky on the keys. I have to go to Walmart uh, to pick up a few things that are left, like pork rinds. I can't go on vacation without them. My cousins are sneaky, and they don't like my pork rinds, so they don't like me. They won't stop sometimes for me to get them. No, I'm kidding. But I have a rule. I can't open them in the car. I have to them for lack of a better word outside of the car because they do smell when you first open the package <laughs> but I need some pork rinds any cream I need some nuts I gotta take out some cash for the vacation and do some errands tonight I have my three-day agenda of lists Wednesday Thursday Friday everything I'm doing what I'm recording when oh, pork rinds when it will go up that type of thing. So that's gonna happen tonight. Then I'm gonna be, so let's look at Wednesday. I am making a video on Let's Pack With Me. I'm going to Walmart and I'm supposed to be getting my Fab Fit Fun box in the mail, which is my first one I'm super excited about. So that's for today. Tomorrow I'm making a bento box video. I need to clean out my car and I need to plant some, put some plants in dirt that I've been, I've had in a cup and they are all, um, got their roots and I'm afraid if I leave them for a week it'll be too late so I'm gonna do that tomorrow night and then Friday it's all about change the kitty litter feed the pets and load the car um, I did want to show you my latest creation guys I'm kind of obsessed with book sleeves I'm not gonna lie and I finally got the measurement down so I created this one and if you can see I made a pocket on the front you'll understand what I need it for in a minute but it holds a pen and then it holds four or five pens in this little pocket right here and then I cut it out to have the bird on the front I love this fabric and it's holding my notebook that I purchased and this notebook is all about my YouTube channel so these are gonna be video ideas as I come up with them things I want to have for it any other information but this notebook here is specifically for the channel both channels actually and it fits perfect I mean I have just a little room that I could maybe slide another information and then these pens slip right down in I have a one of my work pens so everything slides down in there and then when I take it out of the house or if I'm traveling or something, I have the pens that I want to go with this. Isn't that awesome? And I love this fabric, it's so pretty. 
I just dug through my stash like I've been doing. And then, what else? It's not a whole lot going on. It's warm in here. I've got Chunky Monkey Cat over there. And I was getting in touch with my family. I've got my niece and my brother and sister-in-law. They'll be checking on the cats and checking on my condo for me whilst I'm gone. Plus my neighbors. They're, you know, we're very tight in that neighborhood. But, excuse me, I'm having a rare to me cola. This is a Summit brand. And it is a dupe of Zevia. Zevia is made with stevia, so it's a clean soda that I can have. There's nothing, no additives, no coloring in here. It's clear, zero carbohydrate, zero calories. I enjoy them. Uh, my head is starting to hurt because it's getting ready to rain, so I grabbed some bubbly to maybe help with that. I keep, um, I have, well, I keep, I say, but I have, they come in six packs generally, although I have purchased the root beer, which is pretty good, and a 12 pack. I will tell you they do have an aftertaste of Zevia, which, or Stevia, which is different. You'd have to be used to it, but I don't mind them at all. Um, but I tend to keep in my refrigerator ginger ale of this brand, of this type. Um, I buy a six pack every couple months. I may have one here and there, but I try to keep them on hand in case I get like a stomach bug or something. I like to have that. Um, but the, I got this Summit brand at Aldi and that six pack was on clearance for a dollar fifty and those six packs are twelve dollars regular or twelve dollars. Girl, what planet do you live on? They're five ninety nine or four ninety nine depending where you get them. Oh, I also need at Walmart chocolate. Um, they sell my Lily's chocolate, which is um, made with stevia. Again, I don't get whole bars typically. I do have one bar to take on vacation, but typically I get the chocolate chips and I keep them in a jar and then I can just grab a couple and it's easier to portion for me. So I need that. So the plan is 4.30, hit the road. Log off, get in the car, run to Walmart, pick up what I need there, shouldn't be too busy. Run to the next store, pick up what I need there and then come home. Hopefully I'm home by 5.30. And start packing. I have a Zoom meeting for my part-time job at 6.30 that I need to attend. So that's kind of throwing a kink into my plans. Oh, and Friday I gotta paint my nails. I like this white, um, but I went and got a pedicure over the weekend with my work friend, Teresa. Hey girl. And um, I have the, it's my nail polish I brought with me so I could do my nails to match. Plus, it's time to change this color. I digress. Squirrel. I'm kidding. I'm in a mood today. Um, yes, yeah, so I need to do that Friday. But I can do that. So I think I have to run into the office, too. So I will do that first thing in the morning before work. I tend to get up. See, I can tell my allergies are kicking in. I'm getting splotchy. And that, and I'm getting stuffy. And this is from the rain. See my red splotches and my scar. That's from when I was five years old. I hit a coffee table. I tripped. <sighs> tripped. My brother pushed me into the coffee table, and I ended up with a lot of stitches in that gym when I was five. Anywho, all right, well, I'm going to finish up getting logged off, run to the grocery store. I try to video in there, but it's always so busy, and people are, like, judgy. But I'll chat with you when I get home, and we will video a pack with me, because I think that will be fun, and I can show you some of the things that I've collected. I do travel a fair bit, and some things I've come up with and collected to help you pack. Excuse me, my carbonated soda. All right, I will talk with you. All right, here is my desk mat that I was talking about that's plastic. It's super shiny on one side. It's a little textured on the other. I'm assuming this textured side is what's supposed to keep it from sliding, but it's not really working on glass. So I'm going to take some of these cork sheets and I'm going to glue them down. And all I'm doing is using the adhesive that's on the back, four of them, 
onto the back side of this and let's see if that does better. So I feel like cork will help it not slide so much. So that's my idea, anywho. I won't make this a separate video because y'all have already seen how I use the cork sheets, but this is what I'm gonna do. So give me a second and I will bring you back and show you how I'm gonna trim it up. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue them down, overlap in the corners, and then what I will do is flip around and um, just cut it off to make it match with either a craft scissor or a straight edge. We'll see which one works the best, but that's my plan. I got everybody down. The last thing I need to do is trim up this outer side. Um, it is a little interesting to cut the cork, not going to lie, but um, unfortunately that's what has to happen. Even if I were to buy like a roll of cork, it would still have to be cut. So, um, which by the way, you can totally buy a roll of cork just so you know. Um, here's what I will tell you. You wanna peel this off before you try cutting a second time or you're just gonna make a mess of your cork that's attached. Um, but like I said, you can buy this by the roll. I believe it's like in the shelf liner section. I have purchased it before, this thin stuff. If you're gonna do a lot of projects, it's probably gonna be more cost effective that way or you can get it on Amazon, I'm sure. Um, but where I'm just doing little little things. I didn't think it was necessary. Um, the one thing is you do most certainly want to trim this because it is sticky. And in my life, that sticky will drive me nuts as well. But I think this is going to work. I won't know until I start working tomorrow. Okay, Lori, follow your own directions. Get the cork off of here. You can also um, take a sanding tool, or what I did is I took a nail file, an old one, and I'm just gonna sand it down flat. Um, Dollar Tree ones I think would work great for this because they don't really work great for your fingernails, but I think they would work good if you have any just little bits that need to be trimmed up but honestly I think I'm good that's what the back is gonna look like four pieces of cork so four dollars I paid seven for this mat and I left the bumpy side up so seven eight nine ten eleven dollars for a no slip mat is not a bad price in the color that I want and I had already purchased this so there we go this cat is ridiculous. Guys, my house is a disaster. I'm packing, I'm taking trash out. That is, all, there's the trash. There's all the stuff we're taking. One air mattress. Down here we have like snacks and food and stuff for me. Coffee, things from my diet. Up here we have health and beauty type stuff. Well, no, sunblock. Household cleaners, disinfecting wipes and sprays, sunblock, napkins, some arts and crafts, my pork rinds, laundry soap, my hat, have to wear a hat, son, cute little Alex, hi little Alex, and Wellington wants food. I've got to get my house tidied up, guys. Let's get on it. All right, guys, we are cleaning out this car. It's a mess, right? Right. Ugh, hold on, I need two hands. Okay, I'm not sure what you're gonna be able to see, but we're gonna try getting this seat up. One of the reasons I bought this car is the back seats lay completely down and they lean back. Oh, ouch. See what we got in here, all these grocery bags gotta come out. I think I need to run a vacuum, but these also adjust.
Now we're in the front seat. I've got plenty of tissues on my masks. I gotta clean that, coffee mess. And then back here, what I was saying, all these bags need to get put away, more tissue, and the seats need to get sat back up, and then we'll put some stuff in the car, but not everything yet. All right, I think there should be room for all my stuff. I don't know if other people are bringing stuff, so I gotta find that out tonight. But we're definitely going to be packed down, which is fine. Oh, there was a bee in my garage. No, you can't have in my garage. Oh, I got it. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll chat later. Hey, friends. Okay. I am trying to get my house situated. So that when I come back. It'll be all nice and tidy, right? Because that's important. I think it's important. So what we're doing right now is I am peeling hard-boiled eggs. I have to go in the office tomorrow. I don't get to uh, work from home, which I was anticipating. But... I mean, that's fine. Oh, I'll tell you, my hard-boiled eggs, um, I put them on. So I put the eggs in cold water on the burner and turn it on high. When it comes up to a boil, I let it boil for like one minute. Turn it off and let it sit for 11 minutes. And it's almost like a perfectly boiled, well, it is, in my opinion, a perfectly hard-boiled egg. Um, it's yellow in the middle and not green. The green is like if it's a little overcooked, which trust me, I do that too. But And then I take it off after the 11 minutes and I douse it with ice and cold water. And it seems to help with the shell. I'm getting ready to film a bento style lunch and travel snack video. Um, ah, now well, I can show you the inside of this egg. I'll just eat it once it's... Look what I've done here. Um, it's a pretty long drive where we're going. Here. And so, I'll just pack snacks. See, it's not... It's just yellow. And that is even a little green. Mm. Yummy. I love hard boiled eggs. So good. So I'm going to do this. Leave some out to pack, and then some of the stuff's going to go in a cooler. So that when we get to our condominium, I'll just stick it in the fridge and then I'll have stuff. You know, I also am a firm believer that if your eggs are a little older, so not really super fresh, they feel better. And I needed to eat up these eggs before leaving. So the perfect thought, we'll eat them in the car if we want, like for a quick lunch, snack, whatever. And then I can have them for lunches, snacks, whatever. That's, oh, I'm getting a little aggressive, guys, in my egg peeling here. Although I think this one, well, I'm not going to peel that. I'm not sure what happened to that egg. Anyway, we're doing that. And then I need to um, figure out what I'm wearing to work tomorrow and then what I'm wearing to my cousins. I'm going to spend the night there. Deciding if I just want to wear my pajamas, aka shorts and a t-shirt that I can sleep in there. Probably will do that. Just, you know, take my bra off before I go to bed and then bring a fresh change of clothes to travel in. So I have to come home anyway tomorrow after work and get the kitty litter fresh change that put out a second an extra pan I need to feed the boys I need to make sure they have plenty of food and water so 
tomorrow night before I'm gone. And then my family will come almost every day and check on them, check on my house. Like I said, I have people checking on it all day, every day. My neighbors, we're a pretty close-knit little community here. They all know that I will be gone and they will keep their eye open. Plus this video, I'm probably already home from vacation at this point. I'm not sure when this is all gonna go up, but I do pre-record sometimes and so we're not telling the world. All right, we need to do this. Then we need to go upstairs and then I need to go to bed early. Although I painted my nails today and I'm not happy with how they turned out. So we'll probably repaint my nails and take out the last bit of trash. I don't wanna leave any trash in the trash can. Makes your house stinky. So I will take this out. And that's it. Now I don't put shells down my disposal. I've learned my lesson. So I'll put that in the trash. And then I can uh, film my bento box video. Woohoo! All right, guys, I'll be back. All right. Got my clothes laid out. I'm going to wear this sundress to work tomorrow. Ooh, too close. It's just an old navy dress. And then I'm going to travel in, well, my undies, either these blue shorts with this gray and blue shirt or these blue shorts. I haven't decided yet. And then I need to pack my thermometer because that's what you do when you travel during a pandemic. So that's my clothes. I got everything packed. My bed is kind of made today. <laughs> and a paper plate fell on my floor. The cats are crazy. All right, guys. Well, that's everything. I hope you enjoy and have a great week. And I will talk to you later. Bye.